Hello viewers and welcome to Noble Tech's new video series, Noble News. The show where we break down the latest in hacker gadgets, maker tools and campaign updates from across the community. I'm your host, Og, and today we've got a packed lineup. A new firmware from Just Call Me Coco, shipping news from Hack5 and InfiShark, and major Kickstarter updates for Highboy and Code Dart. Last but not least, we take a look at an upcoming Kickstarter campaign from Mecha Comet. Let's dive in. First up, Just Call Me Coco has dropped the ESP32 Marauder firmware version 1.9.0. The big headline here is Bluetooth support for the Marauder C5 adapter. This update makes the Marauder far more versatile, combining Wi-Fi and Bluetooth reconnaissance, expanding into 5 GHz packet injection and refining usability. It's a significant improvement to the Marauder C5 adapter, which is a multi-protocol offensive and defensive toolkit for pen testers, educators, and hobbyists. The main highlights for the updates are Bluetooth support for C5 hardware, the headline feature enabling Bluetooth scanning and more driving alongside Wi-Fi. We also get new Flock features, such as the Flock Penguin battery scanner, which is a new utility for monitoring battery levels during field use. The Flock Wi-Fi sniffing, which is enhanced scanning capabilities for detecting and logging Wi-Fi networks. And Flock War Driving, dedicated mode for asynchronous war driving combining GPS and wireless data collection. The update also includes MAC address CLI commands, so added command line tools for managing and interacting with MAC addresses. And last but not least on the updates is 5 GHz channels for C5 packet injection. This expands attack and testing capabilities into the 5 GHz spectrum. Things to note when updating your Marauder devices, the firmware binaries are tailored to specific hardware versions such as version 6, version 7 and the Mini and so on. Companion app updates are required for Flipper Zero integration and GPS modification guides are available for adding location tracking to war driving setups. Next, Hack5's Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager officially started shipping on December the 12th, 2025. This device takes the legendary Pineapple platform and shrinks it down into a retro pager-style form factor, compact, discreet, and designed for field use. So what exactly is the Pineapple Pager? It's essentially a portable wireless penetration testing tool that lets you audit Wi-Fi networks by detecting vulnerabilities and misconfigurations, perform man-in-the-middle testing with rogue access points to demonstrate how attackers can intercept traffic, run automated recon scans to identify nearby SSIDs, clients, and devices, deploy Pine AP modules for advanced testing including credential harvesting and targeted phishing simulations, and log and export data for professional reporting or educational demonstrations. The pager-style design makes it easy to clip onto your belt or bag and is powered by Hack5's proven pineapple ecosystem, meaning you get access to the same modules, community support, and updates as the larger pineapple devices. For pen testers, educators, and hobbyists, this is a stealthy, pocket-sized powerhouse. Perfect for live demonstrations, red team engagements, or just learning how wireless attacks work in the real world. Pre-orders are being fulfilled now, with new orders queued up once backers are covered. Over to Kickstarter news, the Highboy campaign has confirmed a major upgrade, 5 GHz Wi-Fi support. This was unlocked thanks to strong community backing, and it's already tested on prototypes. The team says the final stretch goal is now LoRa support, which would make Highboy one of the most versatile hacker gadgets out there. So what is the Highboy? It's a multi-protocol hacker device designed as a portable open-source alternative to tools like the Flipper Zero. At its core, Highboy combines Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz, and now 5 GHz for scanning, packet injection, and war driving. Bluetooth and BLE for sniffing, spoofing, and device interaction. NFC, RFID for tag reading, writing, and emulation. Infrared for remote control and sign replay. Bad USB functionality for HID attacks and USB emulation. GPIO pins for hardware hacking, sensors, and maker projects. The device is built to be modular and expandable with a focus on community-driven firmware development. It's not just a pen testing tool. It's also a learning platform for wireless security, IoT experimentation, and creative maker projects. With stretch goals like LoRa support on the horizon, Highboy is shaping up to be a Swiss army knife for hackers and makers, blending offensive security tools with playful experimentation in one handheld device. And as you can see from the Highboy Kickstarter page, they have already received pledges of £253,771 with 2,718 backers. If you're interested in this project, there are only 18 days to go as of the 14th of December, 2025. 
Meanwhile, the Code A Dot campaign is smashing goals. Built around an ESP32-S3 with a 2.13-inch AMOLED touchscreen, sensors, NFC RFID, audio, and GPIO expansion. It's basically a pocket-sized lab for makers and hackers. New stretch goals include expanded app support through Code OS and additional hardware modules. And here's the big news. The campaign has now revealed a $1 million stretch goal, a dual MCU configuration featuring the ESP32-P4 and the ESP32-C6. This would supercharge the device with more processing power, better wireless capabilities, and expanded flexibility for running complex apps and simultaneous tasks. The Code Doc Kickstarter has already unlocked several stretch goals. This includes hitting $100,000 for infrared integration, $250,000 for NFC and RFID integration, and $500,000 for vibration motor. And as you can see, the next stretch goal is $1 million for two times the power with dual MCU with the ESP32P4 and the ESP32C6. As you can see from the Kickstarter page, they already have pledges of £600,324, with an initial goal of £3,739. If you're interested in the code dot, there are now eight days remaining until the campaign ends as of the 14th of December 2025. Next up, we have shipping news from InfiShark. The BLE Shark Nano has now started shipping to Kickstarter backers in the UK and Europe. Production has stabilized with batches of around 600 units going out weekly. If you're a backer in the UK or Europe, your order may already be on its way. Website pre-orders are next in line, expected to start shipping later this month. So what is the BLE Shark Nano? It's a portable Bluetooth low energy sniffer and analyzer designed for security researchers, makers, and pen testers. It's a tool that lets you capture and decode Wi-Fi and Bluetooth traffic in real time, monitor advertisements and connections between devices like smartwatches, headphones, fitness trackers, and IoT sensors, perform security audits by identifying weak pairing methods or exposed device information, log and export data for deeper analysis in tools like Wireshark, run on the go thanks to its compact, battery-friendly design. The Nano form factor makes it easy to carry and deploy in the field while still offering professional-grade packet capture and analysis. For anyone working in wireless security, this is a must-have tool for exploring the hidden world of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi communication. Finally, let's talk about the upcoming Mecha Comet campaign. This project is a modular Linux handheld computer designed to be both a hacker's toolkit and a maker's playground. Think of it as a cross between a cyber deck and a modular console. Compact, powerful, and endlessly customizable. It's a handheld device running full Linux, powered by the upgraded IMX8M Plus processor with up to 8GB of RAM. It features a 3.92-inch AMOLED display with crisp 1080 by 1240 resolution, USB-C 3 ports, and support for LTE and 5G via M.2 PCIe modules. But the real magic is in its modular design. Magnetic snap interface for keyboards, gamepads, and breakout boards. Expandable I.O. for GPIO tinkering, sensors, and maker projects. Custom shells that let you reconfigure the device for hacking, gaming, or field research. And battery and connectivity modules to tailor it for mobile use or lab setups. The campaign's latest updates highlight the move to the IMX8M Plus for triple GPU performance asynchronous war driving support, and developer-focused stretch goals. The team is also working on expanding extension modules, so backers can choose whether their Comet is a mini cyber deck, portable console, or hacker handheld. In short, Mecha Comet isn't just another Linux handheld. It's a modular ecosystem that adapts to whatever role you need. Pen testing, coding, gaming, or IoT development. So the latest updates and summary are moving from the IMX8M Mini to the IMX8M Plus, tripling GPU performance. Support for up to 8GB of LPDDR4 RAM, a bigger, brighter 3.92-inch AMOLED display with 1080 by 1240 resolution. The campaign stretch goals will focus on expanding extension modules and developer support, making the Comet a truly customizable Linux handheld for hackers, makers, and tinkerers. And that wraps up this edition of Noble News. From Bluetooth upgrades on the Marauder to new stretch goals on Highboy and Code Dart, plus shipping milestones for Hack5 and InfiShark, it's clear the maker and hacker community is thriving. The Mecha Comet is pushing modular computing to new heights, and I can't wait to see what's next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button and share if you want more updates like these. Until next time, stay curious and take care.